Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me today for another video. If you are new to my channel, I appreciate you being here. Um, I'm gonna be doing a swipe technique today with a split base, which I have not tried a split base. Um, but I, before I get started, I wanted to um, talk to you a little bit about some of the things that you can reuse. And you may already know this, but, but sometimes it doesn't occur to you till somebody points it out. The cardboard that comes with the canvases, I always use them to either test a little bit of what I'm doing, see if the color combination looks correct, to see if my consistency is correct. Multiple tests, obviously. Um, I use, these are reused over and over again. All my cups I reuse. I get these little containers right here instead of purchasing them. They come with our peppers and cheese that we order with our pizza. So I save them to uh, put paint in. Here's one right here. And you wouldn't believe how far this amount of paint will go. So anyway, I just wanted to encourage you to try and reuse as many products as you can. Now, for the painting, <laughs> um, like I said, I'm going to be doing a swipe technique, which I have been doing um, for quite a long time with using Australian Floetrol. Here is a piece that I did about three or four weeks ago, something like that. It's not a video that I published. Um, but I, I, I did a white base, I swiped over the colors, and I put it on my turntable and spun it out. So, I see a little giraffe right here, I guess because of the color combination. And um, anyway, so I've done that. I have not tried to stretch a canvas, or tilt a canvas, rather, using Australian Floetrol, so that's what I'm going to do today. Okay, so I'm gonna flood my canvas with black and white, and then I'll be using all these tills and blues over here. And I will put the colors in the description, as well as the pouring medium I used for all my different paints. Okay. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put my base coat down. I'm basically doing a petal pour and then gonna swipe over it. So let me put down my black. I'm trying to figure out how do I want to do this. Okay, there we go. And my white. Should have taken my little stick out a second ago. the work over here. And I'm going to put my petals in the middle. Add a little bit more black right here. So we shall see how this goes. I've never tried this before. Like I said, I've done a bunch of different swipes. Um, and I'll put a couple of photos. Photos. <laughs> I'll put a couple of photos at the end to show you some of the different swipes that I've done. I'm gonna pop the air bubbles with my culinary torch here. And we are going to do our puddles. I'm gonna do some in the black and some in the white. And my paints are, they're not thick and they're not thin. They're kind of a medium consistency. Go. Let's put some of this green in there. I know I, I end up using my finger for a lot of things, but you know, it is what it is. Oops. And if you know me, I just about tump that cup. <laughs> I do that almost every single video I make. I get ready to do something and I've knocked something over. All right, let's put some of this green up here. Such pretty colors. And some of this blue we'll put right here. This color right here is, I guess, phthalo blue green. I made it out of phthalo blue and phthalo um, green. So let's put some of this here. And that is probably enough paint, but I want some of this darker over here too. Let's put a little here. And then, ooh, I almost tempted it again. That's my signature, I guess. <laughs> and then some of this. Okay, there we go. Looks pretty good. We'll see how it turns out. 
petals here. Still popping air bubbles in that black, and like I said, I made it yesterday. All right, over here, I've got Australian Floetrol just mixed with white. And I'm gonna put a little bit in this tray. There we go. I've got all kinds of swipe tools over here. Plus, I've got, if you've seen any of my other videos, like I said, I'll post them at the end. This is a, a um, cutting board that I bought at the dollar store, and I have cut it into just a bunch of different sizes. So, I, I try to find things that I can use on a regular basis. All right, let's start with this one. Let's see how this goes. I'm just dipping it a little bit in the Aussie Floetrol in white that's mixed. I'm going to start down here. Just lightly going over it. And then I'm gonna clean my tool after every swipe. Beautiful. Get a little bit more. My intent was to do black and white as a swipe color. And I, for some reason, I could not get the black to cooperate. So, we are doing all white. Still should turn out beautiful. Okay. It's pretty. That didn't clean off very good. There we go. Like I said, I used that cardboard to test some of this out, and I don't know what was going on with the black swipe color, but it was not working for me. So, I just finally said I'm going to do that later, figure out what's going on, and we'll just go with the white, which is going to be beautiful. I mean, look at this. It's so pretty already. We're going to come this way. And see, even the white over the black, that's going to be really pretty. We'll do this one coming this way. She's doing all kinds of designs. All right. One more with this size. Then I'm going to switch to a different size. Ooh, that's pretty. Just swirled like that. I like it. This one to come up. And I'm not putting a whole bunch of pressure. Oops, that one I kind of messed up. Um, not putting a whole bunch of pressure. It's just lightly going over the colors. Get my other rag here. And I am going to use this little square one. Well, rectangle, I guess. Dip it in the Australian Fletrol. And I'll come this way with it. Okay. It's going to be cool. Okay, so I'm thinking about stretching it and where I want these colors to go. So I'm going to pull this. This one's not as easy to get in the tray. I'm going to come back over this. There we go. Even if I just get the white, that'll look very pretty when it's stretched out. I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna grab this little bitty one. Put some more Australian Floetrol in there. Grab this little palette knife. And we're gonna come up this way. I don't think I've got enough in there. There we go. There we go. Ooh, I like that. I like it. I like it. I'm going to do something over here. I'm trying to think about the composition as I go so that when I do tilt, what effect is it or effects is it going to give me? So we're going to go with the little one again. Like that. And it'll continue to grow. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? That kind of mess, but that's all right. And there we go. Didn't 
go over it very well, so I'm gonna do that again. I just have a little bitty bit on the end of a knife, a palette knife. Let's go over that one more time. I need something over here. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more colors over here. There we go. I just love that teal. I'm gonna do something with that in a second. I did, I did, I did that teal is beautiful on that black right here. All these light teals, all of it is. Okay, here we go. There we go. We need something over there. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And there's quite a bit of paint. I don't want to lose this. Obviously, I'm going to lose some. That's just part of it. Come back this way. All right. I'm going to turn it around so you can see what I'm doing, which is always risky. Okay. Now, I'm going to go ahead and stretch over this corner. Oh, I don't want to lose all that. And I'm going to come right back. There we go. I'm just moving my paint back. But I do think I am going to add some more color over here. It's so cool. Um, love this. We're going to put some of this here. Just do some more petals. I think it's beautiful. Turning out very nicely. And we can go this way with it. Okay. I do think I need my bigger palette knife. Let's see where I put it. Here it is. Just do a little bit of Aussie Floetrol on it. So super cool. I think I've said that about four times now. Looky there. It's just immediate gratification. <laughs> I love it. Okay, right now that's all I'm going to do. And I'm going to go ahead and tilt it back over that way. There we go. And I can straighten up my composition in just a minute. Okay, not loving this right here. Not hating it, but not loving it. Turn it one more time. Please don't drop it. Like I said, it's always risky. I'm just gonna pull the paint back a little bit this way. I'm gonna go over that corner. That is so pretty. I'm gonna go over this corner. See how this isn't moving? I need to put some paint on the canvas because it is not wanting to move. So I'm just gonna do that. There we go. Make sure that it flows, flows well. Paint doesn't like to move on a dry canvas. Okay, there we go. Now it's gonna move. Ooh, I don't wanna lose that. It's so pretty. I'm going to tilt it back this way. Okay. It looks pretty cool. Look at how much space I have up here. Okay. I'm liking it. 
I'm liking it. I want to I want to do some additional little swipes here, over here, and over here. So let me get my let me get this little rectangle one. And go this way. Okay. And even if I just get the white, that's fine. It's pretty, that's so pretty. I'm gonna get this little bitty one. All right. I'm gonna come in here. Oops. See how I went under the paint? That's not what you should do. I went too deep into the paint. It'll still work out, but you just want to go over the top of it. And I've got black mixed in there. Grab another paper towel here to wipe my knives. There we go. I'm getting them mixed. Add a little bit more flow travel. Pretty. So we're gonna come back and we're gonna do some more right here. There we go. That's gonna give me some of that black. And I'm gonna go through here. There we go. Okay, I think I'm gonna stretch it back this way. You can see I've still got quite a bit of paint on my canvas. Okay. Now I've just got a little bit on the end. Just to add some details. Just a few little details. There we go, because all those little details show up. Okay, let's go back that way. Look at all that paint, see all the paint? I know I just got rid of that part that I really liked, but You keep too much paint on your canvas, then it won't dry properly necessarily. So, I mean, it will sometimes, but you might risk that it doesn't dry properly. There we go. I'm just gonna bring a little bit of this out. There we go. Just little touches. They make a difference. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Bring a little bit of this out. Again, wiping off my tool between each one. And some of this green blue. And I'm gonna swipe back over this way. There we go. Just needed something right there. Just keep working with it. And keep working with it. A little swipe right there.
just needed some more down here. Much better. Much, much better. Now I'm going to take my little one and come off of it a little bit. Okay. Pretty. Okay, that's much better. I like that now. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is, I've already done some of the places, and if you can tell, the composition may have changed uh, from a minute ago. Well, when you drop your glasses into the painting, it affects it, so <laughs> I had to fix a part of it. So anyway, I'm getting ready to just go through and put some wispies in there like this, like I've already done in a couple of places. I wanna do some over here on the dark area. There's one right there. Just bring out some definition of the color. Okay, it's looking very pretty. Very pretty. I like it, I like it. I'm gonna add a little bit of this blue over here. I like it. I'm gonna bring you down for a close up and show you all the details. See you in a minute. Okay, so here is the final piece. Let me bring you down for some details. It's quite interesting. It really is. I've got some big cells or big lacing and then some smaller ones. And the smaller ones obviously came from the uh, swipes that I did a little bit later on. But I like the combination of the two, and I do like the color palette. It's very pretty. I even like this that came down, the black came into the white, and it's got the blue. And that's pretty on the corner. Let me know what you think. This is one of those pieces I'm gonna have to wait and let it dry just to see how it comes out, so. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me today, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that like button, and as always, you have a great day. Bye.